Well, there's a new horror movie trailer out for the first time in a while, so just for old time's sake, if you want to hear the meaning behind this, then stick around to the end of this video. Freaky is the new horror comedy from director Christopher Landon, who is probably most known for making the Happy Death Day movies. This is kind of a perfect project for him, because Happy Death Day is basically Groundhog Day if it had a serial killer, and Freaky is basically Freaky Friday if it had a serial killer. Okay, so I was never the most popular. Homecoming's this weekend. Booker is gonna be at the dance. And boys never really noticed me. Wait, what? No, I don't buy that for a second. I mean, we're talking about Catherine Newton here. We're talking about Lucy Stevens herself. She's cute as hell. Interesting fact, by the way, her and director Christopher Landon are both alumni of the Paranormal Activity franchise. Yeah, you're right, that's not that interesting. But I do give the director points for implementing creative and creepy school mascots in his movies, showing off a little bit of his directorial trademark there, also having clever slogans for those teens. But the big homage here, other than Freaky Friday and Happy Death Day, is seen in this part, where the killer chases down the girl with some kind of magically activated knife, and suddenly, stormy clouds and lightning fill the skies as some kind of ritual is performed, the result of which is the killer's soul being transferred into the girl and vice versa. The theatrics are almost exactly the same as what's seen in Shia Play, which also features a serial killer using a ritual to transfer his soul into another body, albeit a much stubbier one. In Child's Play, the killer discovers he has a limited amount of time to transfer his soul back into a human vessel before he gets stuck inside the doll forever. And it seems like Freaky follows those same rules. I have like less than six hours to swap back or I'm gonna be stuck in this body forever. I also noticed that the killer, who is known as the Blissview Butcher, wears a mask. It looks like a redead mask from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is closely related to something called the Gibdo Mask which allows you to blend in with Redeads and Gibdos undetected, just as the Blissview Butcher can blend in with his victims undetected while inside Millie's body. Maybe there'll be a scene where she does the same thing and uses her new body to slide in with criminals, just as Link uses various masks to gain access to places in Majora's Mask. It also bears a pretty close resemblance to the Jason mask from Friday the 13th. In any event, even if that's not an intentional reference, I do remember Christopher Landon saying that he wanted to bring back the idea of the mass serial killer with Happy Death Day, and with that series potentially dead, no pun intended, it's good to see him continuing it in another form. Pun intended that time, because Millie takes on another form. Don't know what's going on here, but yeah, that's the end of the trailer. Friday the 13th, because that's the spooky day, but let's be real, this thing's not gonna be in theaters in November. My theory is that movie studios keep putting release dates in the pandemic, because when that date comes and they inevitably have to delay it, people report on it and they get free press. That being said, I wouldn't mind watching this one on my TV in November, but hey, we'll see what happens. Click the video on the left to see my Things You Missed episode on Happy Death Day, and if you love horror, subscribe to this channel right now. I'm not asking. I've got new horrors every week, so ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one, assuming we stay inside.